Hello, hello, hello. It is raining. We just came out. We just closed down the Columbus Museum of Art and I had to bring my kids over here. Get, hello, get off of the, hello, get off of there now. Now. Asha, do I need to count to 10? Get off of there, Asha. This is Elijah Pierce. Um, Elijah, your life is a book and every day is a page. I love that. I love that. 1892 is the year he was born. Who is the artist? The artist. This statue created by Stephen Weitzman. Do you guys see that? Stephen Weitzman created this. And his barber shop used to be right over here. They tore it down. I mean, really, they could have left it up and made it a museum. So I'm going to read. If you don't like being read to, click the X, click the X. This is, you know, for educational purposes. People who want to learn, know more about this amazing man, Elijah Pierce. I'm gonna try to hold my, I'm trying to keep you under the, I'll keep under the umbrella. So, Elijah Pierce, 1892 to 1984, was an internationally recognized woodcarver, folk artist. Mr. Pierce began carving wood as a young boy in Baldwin, Mississippi. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm having, okay. Mr. Pierce began carving wood as a young boy on on the Baldwin, Mississippi farm where he was born in 1892. In the early 1920s, he carved a small elephant for his wife as a gift. Oh, how sweet. In response to her affection for the animal, he promised her an entire zoo and continued to carve freestanding animals throughout his career. Mr. Pierce arrived in Columbus, Ohio in 1924, where he lived and worked for 60 years until his retirement in 1980. For most of his life, Mr. Pierce earned his living as a barber in a two-room barber shop, which he built on this site. Oh, it was on this site. On this site in 1954. I thought it was across the street. The shop also served as the gallery to display his carvings. Also, a licensed preacher, Mr. Pierce often told stories that contained important lessons about life and often used his carvings to illustrate a fable, proverb, or Bible story. In addition to the religious focus, secular themes such as politics, current affairs, sports, his autobiography, and his menagerie were included in his repertoire. Elijah Pierce did not seek fame, but his work won recognition in art exhibitions and has been displayed in art galleries and museums throughout the world. He is recognized as one of America's leading folk artists. This statue, this statue, where am I, where am I? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, this statue, it was created by Stephen Weitzman, was commissioned by Columbus State Community College and dedicated on November 9th, that's my brother's birthday, November 9th, 2000, to honor the life of Elijah Pierce. So there you have it. So his barbershop used to be here and they tore it down. Instead of leaving it up as a museum, um, and this is what they put here. I mean, it is beautiful, but I think they could have done both. <laughs> All right, we're walking in the rain. We're walking in the rain, my children. Let's go. Hello, hello. Let me turn this camera. Hello. It's raining. It's raining. We just came out of the Columbus Museum of Art. I'm trying to see. Okay. We are on Long Street. Come on, it's this way. Let's go. It's this way. Jaywalking. <laughs> No, we're going this way to see the wall. I'm on the sidewalk now. Wow. I'm not listening. Wow. Hello. How are you guys? What are you guys doing? Is it raining where you are? I'm in Ohio. Oh gosh, this umbrella is falling apart. My goodness. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to wait. <sighs> I'm going to go back to the car. <laughs> 
Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Read up about Elijah Pierce. It's actually a beautiful story, children's book about him. I don't know why I cannot think of it, but it was about him and a little Jewish boy. And I know in the book, Elijah Pierce put a, a menorah in his barbershop. It is in action music no that's just a statue they tore down his barbershop but the art museum is right of course we were at the art museum for since two o'clock and we just left it closed at five so we came yesterday while well, my son was not feeling well so he didn't come so we came again because it's free on sundays I paid yesterday and got in free today i love it i love it and we're walking to the parking lot and i'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see this mural by another amazing Columbus artist her name is Amina Robinson and unfortunately she passed this year so we looked at some of her artwork and guess what I learned today that she was good friends with Elijah Pierce he was one of her mentors <laughs> no we're walking to the car we're not walking home in the rain but I have we have walked in the rain plenty of times we are in let me show you okay so they're my children so this is amina robinson's one of her murals she was an amazing artist and she has had a relationship with the columbus museum since she was a teenager um a street called home this mural is based on the original artwork for the book of the same name that was written and illustrated by amina brenda lynn robinson and published in 1997 the original art is in the collection of the Columbus Museum of Art, which is right across the street, which is where we just came from. Columbus College of Art and Design. <laughs> yes, a street called home, right. Columbus College of Art and Design students executed the work in 2005 under the direction of Associate Professor Christine Schramer. Okay. Amina Brenda Lynn Robinson was born in Columbus, Ohio in 1940 and graduated from the Columbus Art School, now the Columbus College of Art and Design. Her work reflects the drawing, paper making, and needlework traditions that she learned from her parents as well as the training that she received in art school. Amina creates sculpture, large, complex work she calls rag gone nons. <laughs> rag paintings, paintings on cloth, drawings, and books about her family and community, African-American history, her travels, and the stories she has been told by her elders. In 2002, the Columbus Museum of Art organized a retrospective exhibition of her work that traveled in the United States. In 2004, Amina received a prestigious MacArthur Fellowship. Her work is in private collections and museums, including the Columbus Museum of Art, the Brooklyn Museum of Art, the Toledo Museum of Art, the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center, and the Newark, New Jersey Museum, among others. Yes. So, I don't know if you can see much, it's dark, but this is, yeah, and in the museum we saw some of her original pieces for some books she illustrated, her rag. Like, she basically used pieces of fabric as if, yeah, as if, you know, it was a paintbrush. As if it was paint. It's hard to get the full effect of this. Yesterday, it was a better day. But it's kind of gloomy today. Hopefully you guys can see some of it. I'm trying to walk slow. Mount Vernon. <laughs> Look her up. She's an amazing woman. And they used to have a huge hands-on exhibit here before they renovated this museum. They just opened up the, the, uh, the contemporary ring two months ago, so it was a treat. We had lunch here. Yeah, she's from Elijah Pierce. We studied him. As you guys can see, I am big on my children learning through art, and my children are artists. So I love bringing them to art museums so they can see that they totally can live from their God-given talents and create beauty that adds value to the world so coming to the end but look up Amina Robinson there's stuff on about her on YouTube she's illustrated quite a few books with her amazing artwork and yeah and see over here across the street that's the Columbus Art Museum we were there yesterday and today
Well, my son wasn't there yesterday, but I'm gonna go. I'm in. A Thanks for watching. I'm the Fit Baker Mom. Signing off. I hope you appreciate the art I shared with you today. I got in trouble a few times because I didn't know I couldn't periscope. I saw. I didn't do stuff where I saw the sign, but some places I didn't see it, and then in some places where I could photograph, I thought I could video too, and I couldn't video. It's all good. Sometimes, you know, things happen, right? Have a beautiful day. Bye. <laughs>